Welcome to our tutorial about view representation. Before starting Inventor Studio, I'm going to create a view representation while in the design environment. Right click on the master view node and select new and I'll do it again. So now I've got two new views and to switch between them just double click on the node. Now let's say for this view I want to change the appearance. I'll make view 2 orange red. Let's double click on view 1's node, you'll see that it's still in the default color. And let's switch back to view 2 with a double click. Now go to the Environments tab and click on Inventor Studio to launch the module. Let's go to our browser. You'll notice here that I'm not able to change the view from here. So in order to change the view, I've got to exit Inventor Studio. I change the view from the design environment, and then I go to the studio environment. Let's go to the Assemble tab. Similar situation here. Let's right click on our default view and select New. And let's create a second view. Right click on View 1, select New. Let's say for View 2, I want to zoom in. Double click on the model in the graphic area to enter part editing mode. I'll select the tip of the pen and let's change the appearance. We'll make it red. Incidentally, while I'm in part editing mode, I'm not able to activate Inventor Studio. I need to exit the part editing mode before I can launch the module. So let's launch Inventor Studio now. At this point, when I try to change views, I'm not able to. However, I am able to hide various parts of the assembly. Right click and select Visibility. And let's make the table visible. In order to switch views, let's exit Inventor Studio. We're back in our assembly. Let's switch the view. And now let's open up Inventor Studio. And here we are back in the studio environment. This concludes our tutorial about how to work with various views of your model while in Inventor Studio.